Hi, so this is going to be uh, your first video lecture about matter. Matter matters. It really does. So we're going to talk about what matter is and why it matters. So anything that exists is matter and anything made of matter exists. It's that simple. So if it exists, if it is, it's made of matter. And if it's made of matter, then it exists. So everything that is uh, in our universe is made of matter. <clears throat> our focus in this chemistry unit is going to be first of all subatomic particles, atoms, elements, molecules, and compounds. But before we get to that, we've got to talk a little bit more specifically about what matter, how we describe matter, and how we, how we uh, talk about matter, and how we identify matter. So the first is physical properties. We look at things like texture and hardness. How does it feel? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it malleable? Malleable means can you, <clears throat> can you bend it or shape it into something, into some other form? A state of matter is one of the properties that we use to describe it. For example, if it's a solid, a liquid, a gas, or a plasma. So uh, in class, we'll be looking at the different states of matter. We'll be talking about how uh, the same substance will change states, but it's still the same substance. Uh, the conduction of heat or electricity is also a physical property. So if a substance will transfers heat through it, if it warms up really easily, we say it's a good conductor of heat or thermal energy. And if uh, electric current passes through it easily, we say it's a good conductor of electricity. And then some other uh, properties that you're probably familiar with from previous classes in previous years in science, mass, volume, and density. So we'll be using some of the the tools uh, here in the chemistry lab. Uh, we will use uh, graduated cylinders and beakers and flasks. We'll use the triple beam balance and we'll be measuring mass and volume and then we'll be calculating the density of a few different uh, objects. And we'll talk more about that lab and the procedure later on. When we talk about matter, we also have to talk about its chemical properties. Now, a chemical property is a little bit different from a physical property because it has to do with some kind of change in that substance. Uh, for example, flammability, how easily does it burn? Reactivity, how easily does it combine with other elements or other substances to form new substances? Um, <clears throat> is it very, very stable? That would be the opposite of reactive. Um, does it go through oxidation and tarnish, so like the rust on the, uh, on the chain that you see here on the slide? Uh, iron will oxidize. It will uh, react with oxygen that's in the air around it and form rust. So uh, rust is actually iron oxide. It's a totally different uh, substance than the iron and the oxygen that start out um, to react together. Uh, radioactivity, like how does, how does that uh, atom break down? <clears throat> and then pH is also a chemical property, so how acidic or basic is a substance, because that has to do with a change in its chemical properties. All right, so <clears throat> our first lab, uh, which I'll be recording a video about that procedure, will be on chemical and physical properties, and then uh, one of our next video lectures will be about subatomic particles because in order to understand matter and elements, atoms, and how they work alone and with other elements and atoms, you have to understand subatomic particles and their properties. All right, I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you in class.